stage just finished and I ran to the car making the video. Uh, before I go into the games, I wanna this time go first into the jersey matches because seemingly FIFA hurt me. I wanted Colombia against Senegal to be green versus yellow and that's exactly what I got. Put blue pants on Colombia and I'm totally happy, but I was so happy to finally see a yellow versus green matchup. Uh, that was the one thing that was missing. Now, we also know from the other game that Japan played in blue and Poland in white, so the only jersey that we'll for sure not see at this World Cup is the Poland away jersey. Uh, with Japan, uh, the Japan jersey being determined uh, whom they're playing, but yeah, if England wins the group, uh, we'll get to that. So Colombia won the group, uh, Japan is second. If England wins the group, then I would expect England to play in white against Japan in blues. And if Belgium wins the group, we will have Belgium in red and Japan in white. And that might be the biggest chance that we'll get to see the second Japanese jersey. Um, I wouldn't be unhappy if we don't see it because I think Japan had much better jerseys. Uh, all the old jerseys. This white jersey that doesn't do much and has in addition just this 92 style Adidas stripes on the wrong shoulder on the wrong team. Um, I'd rather not see. Just read my blog post on it and you'll get the picture that I'm not a big fan of this one. It's one of the most boring and most disappointing jerseys especially given Japan's uh, recent history with the white jerseys. Well, now to the games. Uh, I said it already. Colombia won one nothing. Poland won one nothing. Let's. I have not seen anything uh, of Japan Poland except one picture of the jerseys there, and one big chance they showed uh, at halftime that Poland had, where the goalkeeper of Japan made a fabulous save. Um, uh, on just on the line, the ball has not fully crossed the line. So, yeah, uh, Japan was lucky there and Japan lost this game. Poland has now at the last three World Cups, including this one where they participated, they have been eliminated after two games, but they have always won the last game. That's an impressive streak in itself. And this group went very much or very similarly to the group that Poland was in in 2002, um, except that this time the bigger team won in the other game that was not playing Poland. Um, won now, but other than that it went very very similarly, so uh, was interesting to see, to say the least. Uh, so Poland is an ec expert for meaningless games, if you wanna say so. Um, yeah, Japan got through on having less yellow cards than Senegal. Um, must feel horrible to uh, be eliminated because of that. But yeah, if you ask me who will get more yellow cards, Japan or Senegal, mm, it would be Senegal. They play more physically. So yeah, in that, in that situation. And now, of course, every Senegal fan will go back and look at, at all these yellow cards and see uh, if they were justified or not. Um, I understand that we need to make a ranking and the fair play is definitely better than having lots drawn uh, or a coin flip or whatever I actually would go the UEFA route and actually use some other qualification like the FIFA ranking um, or something like that uh, in addition if even because even uh, the fair play um, rating even there you can be the same um, so you need an additional one I don't like that a draw will decide who will progress. This seems to be a horrible way of deciding things. Uh, we had once a draw in World Cup history deciding positions between the Netherlands and Ireland in 1990. Um, and there both teams were qualified and it was only determined who will play Germany and who will play Romania. <laughs> the Dutch got Germany and we got a memorable, one memorable game out of the Dutch but it was memorable maybe for all the wrong reasons. Uh, just saying Rijkaard and Fuller, look it up. Uh, going back now, the game that I mostly saw uh, was Colombia against Senegal. 
and the first half was just a stalemate. Uh, it wasn't helped that Rodriguez, James Rodriguez had to come off um, in the first half. He <laughs> was uh, seemingly got some injury. I hope it will not affect their play. But there wasn't much happening except the one penalty appeal and yes, the ref didn't give the penalty. I don't know. Uh, to me, this was this was maybe the first VAR decision. I can see the point that he played the ball, but when you come from behind, uh, yeah, this was a knife's edge decision to me. I personally would have given the penalty. It also would have helped the game, I think. Um, but yeah, personally, I thought this was I would have given the penalty. I can see why the referee didn't give the penalty but this tackling <laughs> I don't want to call it reckless but it was surely a last ditch effort if he is a split second late now this sucker made me not uh, go through at the green but okay I'm making videos I'm happy about that uh, if he's for split second la late this is just a clear cut penalty I one of them go as far to say he hit the heels by accident. People here, uh, I am sure it's with you too. If there's the little light with the green arrow, if it comes on, people don't see it. Especially if, like this guy, he's getting into the wrong lane uh, way too late, blocking everyone off. And then when it comes green, they're not moving traffic that's a whole story in itself we're talking about soccer we're talking about the world cup so let's stay there uh, so for me this guy went into the tackle i think with taking a, uh, with having in mind that this might be a penalty i'm sure he uh, he was confident that he might get the ball but i think the ball was so far away and in a way he hit the player in first so yeah, uh, I can see where the referee got, uh, decided it was not a penalty. I personally would have given the penalty, uh, just the way it is. And this is, has nothing to do with any sympathies for either team because I actually, all three teams that were playing today, I wanted to go on. I like all of them. Um, the one thing that was for Senegal, that maybe made Senegal I have a plus and a minus for Senegal. The plus was surely that they would have been the only African team to go through it. Uh, it hasn't happened in a long time, I think since 1986, and that was the time when we had the round of 16 the last time, uh, the, for the first time, that there was always an African team in there. Uh, so that was sad to see that there's no African team left in the tournament. Uh, on the negative side, I think overall games, I think Senegal was the team least deserving of advancing um, they I think it's Japan put a lot more effort in played uh, better soccer Colombia once they got it going they really got it going uh, especially against Poland and even today they seem to be the better team even with all the injuries and the apathy in the game I just felt that Colombia was the top team in this group so I think they deserved winning this group and uh, that's all right uh, and I think Japan probably deserved it more because um, while Senegal against Poland was lucky, they also were not the better team for sure uh, than against Japan. I thought in the first 20 minutes, if you go back to the video, that uh, Senegal was eating Japan, but Japan really adjusted well and put a lot of effort in. So I think Japan deserved to go through. So you have that, you have the African side and I'm always for the African teams. The first World Cup that I really watched was the one where Cameroon in 1990 made it to the quarterfinals and since then I have a soft, soft, soft spot for African teams. But then, yeah, it's down to yellow cards and you didn't put much effort in Senegal, I'm sorry. When Poland scored the goal, both teams were through. And yeah, then Colombia scored and then finally Senegal woke up. But when Poland scored the one goal, I, uh, it was, I know there was this big cheers going through the audience. 
so you knew that there was something going and yeah I think Senegal showed too little and too little too late they had some efforts in the end but there was nothing that was really threatening and I think yeah Colombia played it home safe so yeah Colombia moves on I'm happy that we have Colombia in there I'm really curious to see now who is playing Colombia whether it will be uh, Belgium or England uh, by the time this video posts unfortunately uh, I'm sure the game will still be on or maybe it will be decided uh, who sees that I don't expect much from that game to be honest with you uh, I think second place looks very enticing in that group okay you gotta be honest you gotta be yeah those are my thoughts um, turns out the choice of my daughter of wearing this yellow hockey jersey was not the wrong one um, we have from yesterday Sweden yellow blue we have Brazil yellow blue and we have today Colombia also yellow some blue maybe some red thrown in there. this is the red so take it as a Colombia sign although it's a deep south hockey team let me know what you thought about the ending of group H there was some drama there but it was definitely not as high as group B and Group D. I would even rank it a little bit. Yeah, yesterday the Germany game was also um, could have been. It was dramatic in the sense that Germany finished, but um, I didn't feel it as dramatic. You just saw that the pressure was building on Germany, uh, and here it was maybe the the, uh, the pressure was actually relieved from the teams, and then Colombia put the pressure on Senegal. So maybe maybe I rank it. Uh, Nah, I would rank it fourth of all the group finishes we had so far. Well, let me know what you thought uh, about the game, uh, how the group ended, about the jersey matchup, which was the best thing about this uh, match. I gotta be honest with you. And I'm soon off and home with my family. Can't wait to be with them. Uh, I think the girls were behaving nicely yesterday in the evening, so I'm happy about that and maybe we'll have another nice evening ahead of us well talk to you soon if you enjoyed this video please hit like and subscribe to my channel if you've already done so i would like to thank you for your support it is very much appreciated also check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video thank you for watching and until next time